Yeah, so what, what you saw was um, a, a reel of paper. So that's, the paper's come off the paper machine and been wound into a big reel. Um, that reel is just under seven metres wide uh, and there's around about 20 to 22 tonnes of paper sitting on that reel. Hence you saw it being lifted by big cranes. Uh, the cranes lift it into what's called the winder. Uh, the winder then is turning that reel into individual rolls which we will then use on our newspaper press. So you go from a reel which is just under seven metres long, uh, or sorry, across, and now then you've got a situation where it's cutting rolls for us which are 0.8 of a metre, so around 800 mils. Um, and they do that for every single newspaper site because no one of us uses the exact same size rolls so they have to cut them individually for each customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what they're doing there. Mm -hmm. And the winder's got to keep up with the paper machine. So it has to run twice as fast as the paper machine. So you get around two and almost three kilometers of paper a minute it will wind onto rolls to try and keep up with the paper machine. Um, and the rolls basically roll out of the winder and the, you would have seen little steps in the ground some of them were raised and some of them were lowered um, and the reason for that basically is those rolls need to be separated you know they've been wound across at high speed and so sometimes they need a bit of encouragement to separate they go from that that deck they then on to um, conveyors and the conveyors send them on their way towards the uh, the wrap line in the case of our rolls each of those rolls weighs about half a ton so obviously you can't do that by hand, it's all got to be mechanised. So the conveyors send it down to the wrap line. Um, they also separate the rolls a little more before they go onto the wrap line. The wrap line is gravity fed, so the rolls get kicked up into it. And then they just literally roll downhill through the wrap line process. Um, they get measured to make sure they're the right size for us. If they're not, then they get rejected. Uh, if they're okay, then they get wrapper put on them, they get end caps put on the ends so that we can sit them on the ground without damaging the paper. Um, and they get a label on them. And so we got to see quite literally the last roll with the, the highest roll number that we'll ever get um, being the last one. And then down to the warehouse and what you saw was um, again the rolls traveling on a conveyor, they get upended, not surprisingly on what's called an upender and then once the rolls are sitting on their ends, so they're tall, um, you then saw a clamp come along and pick them up. Uh, that was a specialized one that lifts with vacuum. So it was literally lifting two rolls, one ton of paper, one ton worth of paper by vacuum. Wow. Yeah. Whereas here, we use the old school clamp method where we actually grab the rolls. Mm -hmm. So things have changed. Those rolls will arrive on the 14th of July. So that will be our last delivery. And it turns out that will be the last customer delivery that the mill does. So we're the last on the list.